Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex, the Comic Order. Thank you so much for clicking play on this video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys some footage of an antique mall that I went through today. There's some really cool stuff that I found. I picked up some books and I also picked up a book from Half Price Books. Hopefully you guys are excited for this one. Here we go. This video is sponsored by the Shortbox app. It's the easiest and safest way to buy and sell comic books online. They now have raw comic books. There's a link in the description to download the app for both Apple and Android users. So download the app and start shopping or selling today. I was in Indianapolis, Indiana this morning and in between appointments, I, I went to Half Price Books and I picked up a book there. I'll show that at the end. I wanna set up these next few clips which are in Champaign, Illinois, or just outside of Champaign, Illinois, in between Champaign and Danville, which is to the east of Champaign. And it's on 74. There's an antique mall. I've been there before. I know they have a comic book dealer there, but I just wanted to walk around. It's kind of in a U shape. So you just enter the door and walk down one direction, go down and then come back. And then you're basically at the counter again. It's not terribly big. It's not super small either, but uh, I know that at the very end, there's a comic book dealer and I really enjoy going there. So I'm going to show you guys the footage. I may stop in between some of the clips to show you. And once again, I did these clips for short format videos for YouTube. And so they're all up and down narrow views. I did do a short form for it earlier. Now I'll just be including extra clips on this. So if you saw the short form earlier, there will be extra clips right now. So hopefully enjoy this. And like I said, I'll be popping in and out occasionally so you can see my face and see my reaction to things. Here's the antique mall and I'll be walking in the front door. The first thing I come across is a dealer with really cool rock and roll records. They had some Kiss, ACDC, Queen, Simon and Garfunkel, Beatles. A vendor a couple booths down had the first comic book of the day and this was Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen, really bad condition. And they wanted 10 bucks, so I put that baby right back. In the back of the antique mall, I noticed this dealer with some toys I thought were really cool. Some nice Star Wars, some Marvel, Turtles, Ultraman, just cool stuff. Hello again. Disclaimer, I've been watching a lot of Sam and Colby, which are YouTubers that do paranormal investigations and paranormal videos for YouTube. And they've got millions of followers, millions of subscribers. And this next clip I only recorded because I was kind of, I've been watching them. If you don't like paranormal, if you don't like dolls, if you don't like creepy things or possess things, then you may want to turn away for the next like four or five seconds. I turned around from where the toys were on the shelf to see this bad boy. I didn't even want to look at it. I was even scared to look at it in the eyes. Then I saw this Dick Tracy novel from the early 1940s, opened it up, and I, it was cool to see this buy war bonds and stamps. That was pretty cool. It was only $8. Should have picked it up. Then I saw these little giant books, all nice titles from the Golden Age. And then I went into a separate room, little, uh, you know, cove area. They had these, uh, you know, Shirley Temple, cinema, songs, magazines. And they had this uh, random wrestling with Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant. I actually should have bought that in their Shirley Temple again. Next, we're finally at the comic book dealer's booth. And I should have bought this Liberty magazine from 1942. It says Miss America on the cover. It's a James Montgomery flag and has Japs on it. And it was only 15 bucks. Now we look in the comic book dealer's case. Lots of modern and mix of modern and golden age it seemed. Well, there wasn't much in between. I panned through here to see some really cool golden age books and I pull out this Black Hawk, early silver age, some really cool Carl Barks, Walt Disney comics with Donald Duck on them. Then I get into this uh, short box here. It's got some really cool Dick Tracy, another Dick Tracy. And then this Ken Shannon was really tempting, but it was missing something. It was only five bucks. Still should have probably picked it up for the cover. And the suspense story was really neat as well. More modern and, you know, modern and golden age, which was, like I said, really strange. And then these were the ones I pulled out at the end. That was from 1955 there. I found a coverless Marvel Mystery Comics. Hopefully you enjoyed that hunting footage. If you did, would you guys hit that thumbs up? It really does help out the channel. I do really appreciate that. If you're also brand new to the channel, hit that subscription button, hit that bell to be notified when there's future videos. Okay, while I was in Indianapolis, I stopped at a Half Price Books in Greenwood, Indiana, and I was looking for Omnibus. I was looking for something to read, 
and I found this really cool Golden Age Superman Omnibus Volume 3. Nice thick book and it covers everything from Golden Age Superman Action Comics 48 through 65 and Superman 16 through 24 and World's Finest Comics 6 through 10. So it's got a lot of great stuff in here. Really cool artwork, really cool pages. This one sounds sounds brand new and, and probably has not been read, but I love just getting these out and just picking a random story and reading them on a Saturday morning with some coffee before anyone wakes up. I don't have to wake up early on Saturdays, but for some reason I always do. My body just naturally wakes up the same time I would wake up for work. So I like wake up at like five something o'clock in the morning on a Saturday morning, probably lay there, check my phone till about six o'clock, go down and have some coffee, pick out one of these things to read. So this will once again go into the archives here of books that I can pick out and read on those Saturday morning where I just get to nerd out and read comic books where in the past I was doing Saturday morning cartoons as a kid. Now I'm doing Saturday morning comic book reading. I've got the receipt right here. That omnibus with taxes and everything was $40.11. So I think that's a lot of great reading for $40. All right, as you saw on the video, they had this coverless Marvel mystery comics, a timely comic from the late 1940s. This is from October 1948. It's Marvel Mystery Comics number 88. It's got a, an amazing cover to it. So I wish I had a cover. I'm thinking about just like doing a printout of the cover and just putting it on here. But I loved it for the artwork on the inside. And it's got Human Torch, Submariner. They've got Captain America, Blonde Phantom. But it's also got a, a Sun Girl issue in here, which I think the Sun Girl might be incomplete this, the end of the Submariner and beginning of the Sun Girl comic may be incomplete, but the artwork in this is really cool. I'll just pop it open right now to show you guys some of the artwork. It is worth it to me to buy this. So here is the front splash page, back page. Anytime I see Marvel Mystery Comics, I'm like, heck yeah, I'm buying this. So here is some Blonde Phantom. Nice. I mean, I don't have to worry about this. It's coverless. It's not worth anything. Here is some Captain America. I get to read a Captain America story. So the Captain America story is complete. It looks like that's Golden Girl, I believe. It might be Golden Girl. I'm not sure who the sidekick is there. Here is that Sun Girl. Really cool Sun Girl stuff. Submariner. You get so much cool artwork in here for... And then here is Sun Girl and Human Torch. Really great. Heck yeah, I'm going to pick this up. And I picked it up. Um, I'm hoping to get like an actual, you know, complete copy with cover and everything like that. But I picked this up just because I couldn't leave it behind. I didn't want to leave it behind. It's 1940s timely. So it's really cool. I might, like I said, put a facsimile type cover or a color copy cover on top of this and just call it a day. Just really cool. It's, it's one of those nice things where this is worth buying because I can just open it up, flip through, and not have to worry about a single thing. And this is always desirable. Somebody will always want this to do the same thing that I'm doing. So if for some reason I want to pass it on in the future, someone else will be interested in buying this from me. All right. I also picked up this Dick Tracy. I did some spine roll correction on it when I got home. Dick Tracy from December of 1948. It's volume one, number 12. I thought this was really cool. It's got the fire in the uh in the barn with the, the the horse there and yeah i thought my spine roll correction looked pretty good if you go back and look at me pulling this out of the bin you will see a big old nasty spine roll i think i did a pretty good job and the last book up is is really cool i was so happy to find this one and this is an alex schomburg cover and this is america's best comics number 30. this is from 1949 it's complete it's got some you know, cuts here. It's attached at both staples. It's got a rip right here, but you've got Miss Mask and you've got Black Terror teaming up to take out these criminals. And I love it. Can't go wrong with this. There it is. Really nice. I flipped through this earlier. Did a little bit of a spine roll correction on this. I didn't want to chance it too much because I didn't want to tear off this piece that is actually attached to the front and back cover. So I just kind of did what I could. It is much better than what it was. So if you go back, I, you know, professionals will do way better than me. I think I did okay. 
And if you go back and look at this in the footage, the hunting footage, you'll know that, you know, it looks much better than what it did. And it, the back lines up much better. So there it is. Nice Alex Schomburg, America's Best Comics number 30, Miss Mask, and Black Terror from 1949. Yep, absolutely love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, if you're brand new to the channel, hit that subscription button, hit that bell to be notified when there's future videos. I should have a video out very soon again um, in the next couple of days. Be looking forward to that. And I will talk to you all on the next one. See you, bye.